on the second Sunday of Lent, we remind ourselves of the story of the paralytic who is lowered through the roof and receives, first of all, forgiveness from Christ and then healing. The story reminds us, yes, that healing and forgiveness cannot be separated, that the two are intimately linked, that all healing, all forgiveness comes from Christ. But St. Gregory Palamas goes further. First of all, he says, even when we are suffering physical ailments, whatever pain and suffering we may be in, we must first and foremost seek forgiveness from God. It is this inner healing that is more important, that is essential. So no matter how much suffering our physical illness may bring us, we must try to maintain trust in God, believe that we are in God's hands, try to be patient in our suffering and recognize what is most needful. But St. Gregory Palamas also says sometimes this ailment, this sickness, can be to our benefit. The paralytic is lowered through the roof and he finds forgiveness because his friends believe he needs physical healing. But like the parable that Jesus taught where the, the men are invited to the feast but refuse because they're caught up in worldly affairs, they're tending their fields and so on. Well, the paralytic is released from these worldly concerns through his ailment. And us too, sometimes when we are sick, it gives us an opportunity to withdraw from our worldly distractions, to focus on what is most important. And if we use this time, it can be of great benefit to us spiritually. Now Jesus, of course, heals the man with a word. He forgives him. He speaks forgiveness and the man is forgiven. St. Gregory reminds us that there are no limits to God's forgiveness. He is not bound by anything. St. Gregory was teaching long before the Reformation and the, the evangelical heresies of the, the atonement theories, where somehow God is, is bound by the devil and Christ must die on the cross to pay off the devil. This is heresy. God's forgiveness is not bound by anything. It is not limited by anything. When God wills forgiveness, we are forgiven. Christ dies on the cross because he has entered our humanity. He's joined himself to us. Christ is God incarnate, become man. And when he dies and is resurrected, he raises our humanity. He gives us new life, new resurrection. So, forgiveness is given by a word by Christ. And sometimes our sickness, our illness can be an opportunity to refocus ourselves on the need for this exchange because when we are healed inwardly we exchange the destruction the sin that we have committed we exchange the fruit of all this for the treasures and the joys of the kingdom of God this is forgiveness and Jesus says to the man take up your bed and go home let the people amongst whom you live see the transformation in you let them recognize what the kingdom of God has done in your life. And Christ calls us too to do the same. He says, let your friends, your family, your neighbors see something different, transformed. We don't have to wave it in people's faces. But let them see that we are changed and transformed and healed. And in recognizing what we have, we pray they too will enter the kingdom of God.